What's up guys, Sage here back with another video, and before we get into the video, I want to remind y'all, if you want to stay updated with all things Marvel Rivals, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you won't miss a video. And remember to turn your resolution to 1080p so you can watch the best quality possible. Also, we are doing two places to survive giveaways for our 5k subscribers, and if you want to be a part of that, all you have to do is subscribe and just support. And with all that, let's get straight to the video. So guys, we're getting closer and closer to the Marvel Rivals beta, and before I jump into what I want to go over, I want to let you guys know that we are giving away some beta codes on our stream. So if any of you are looking for some beta codes we will be streaming as soon as the beta goes live so don't forget to follow us on twitch to catch us when we go live and all you gotta do is join the stream and try to win a free beta code and remember there's also twitch drops so if you don't get a beta code from our giveaway you can still get it from just watching streams so keep that in mind but moving on to the stuff that i want to go over so i want to go over the balancing so basically don't expect the heroes that you saw on those youtube videos or whatever to be exactly the same i am definitely expecting them to have a bunch of characters nerfed and or buffed because we're coming from the alpha to the beta and there was obvious issues with those heroes the good thing about it though was it wasn't too crazy it was only like one ability and or damage for them so it wasn't like multiple issues with one hero it was just mainly one thing i don't think there was a single hero that was in there that had multiple issues with them so that's actually really good because it's very simple if it's just something like damage or one ability so i'm actually happy that that's just the most that we got from it so if you're one of those people that thought you were gonna hop on and pick like star lord or just pick punisher for his shotgun or whatever it's not gonna go down like that i'm telling you right now they're going to have those things nerfed because that was the only issues that people had with the game everything else was fine everybody had a bunch of fun there was nobody that felt too powerful except for those heroes so all those characters will be nerfed i am pretty sure they will be nerfed and as the game goes forward they will be doing balancing like this to where they will release a champion they will come out probably op or really strong and then they're just gonna tone them down to properly balance out with the other heroes which i'm perfectly fine with that because a new hero releasing in the game overpowered is not that big a deal because it's like it's a new hero so obviously it's going to help with the pt of the character and then they can just scale it back to balance out the game competitively and that's perfectly fine that's a good way to do it because it's like you can see what you really need to touch for the hero and it'll make it very easy and very straightforward for them what has to be done and i'm actually perfectly fine with that and no this is not just me just saying that the devs has confirmed this on a podcast so it was a podcast like a little while back but the devs have confirmed that they will be doing balancing like this going forward so that's just cleared up right there but that's all i had to really go over guys if anything else comes out i'll be sure to let you guys know don't forget to join those streams for those twitch drops if you don't get a code and remember we will be doing a giveaway on our stream so just remember to check out our stream follow us on twitch to catch us when we go live and don't miss out but it's been sage and i'll catch you all on the next one 